Dear friends, welcome to Belzo TV studio. Today I have invited in our studio the well-known semi-professional traveler who has been actively working in the field of travel documentary photography. So here is Mr. Hardik Pandya. Namaste. Thank you very much for inviting me here. So Mr. Hardik Pandya, mm -hmm. our viewers would like to know your experience and main countries. What are the countries you visited? Mm -hmm. So let us know your experience mm -hmm. and the countries. Okay. Well, so far, I have con I have been to four countries. Okay. And there are many more that I would wish to uh, uh, continue my travel journeys with. Uh -huh. uh, but so far, I've been to Madagascar. Okay. Uh, Thailand, Nepal, mm -hmm. and Mauritius. Oh, four countries. Four countries, and yeah. of course, India. Like India <laughs> is India is like many countries in one, yeah. right? So I've been to uh, 19 states across India so far mm -hmm. and I have made all these 19 uh, states around India okay. on a motorbike. So it, it has been an amazing experience as well. Okay. And uh, third question I would mm -hmm. like to know that mm -hmm. during your traveling, mm -hmm. you must be coming across too many people, mm -hmm. sometimes many difficulties. Mm -hmm and problems etc etc right. and uh, during that moment at that moment mm -hmm. how you could solve the difficulties or problems mm -hmm. what type of love of affections mm -hmm. and experience you got mm -hmm. from the different country people i see how you could solve the mm -hmm. obstacles, problems, difficulties? Right. Well, so every problem has a solution. Okay. Right? A problem cannot exist without a solution. Yeah. And that's the fun part about traveling because your life is more challenging. Uh, your life is full of excitement when mm -hmm. you have problems and difficulties. Right. Uh, but if you're talking about one of the experiences that I had abroad, I mean, there are so At many. At the moment of difficulties. At right. the moment of difficulties. At the moment of difficulties. Well, yeah. Okay, so here is another experience that I have yes. from Ladakh. Okay. We made a road trip all the way from my hometown, that is Junagadh, mm -hmm. to the highest motorable road in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and once we were in, in, in the place called Spiti Valley, mm -hmm. we were on a motorbike and suddenly in the middle of nowhere, a handle of our motorbike came off. Ooh. Yeah, and on that route, there is hardly any other vehicle that you can find. Yeah. Luckily, like 10 minutes after, okay. we, had, we had a public bus that was also making uh, its way towards the same place that we were heading to, okay. that is Manalo. Okay. Uh, so that was one of the experiences that we had. It uh -huh. was also really challenging uh, okay. to ride through uh, okay. Indian Himalayas. Uh -huh. But talking about one of the most touching experience yes, that I had, yes. right? Yes, our viewers would like to know yeah. that touching experience. Okay. Unique one. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, this experience comes from Madagascar. Okay. Right? Now, before we went to Madagascar, we were making all our research and everything, mm -hmm. and we found out that Madagascar, especially the capital over there, which is called Antananarivo. Okay. Right? They, they call it Tana. Tana. Tana, yeah. Right. And we found out that Antananarivo is one of the highest criminal capitals in the world. Oh, right? highest criminal capital in the world. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, so uh, we found out about this already before going there while we were mm -hmm. making all our research from here. Yeah. When we finally got there, mm -hmm. uh, what we saw was yeah. really shocking. Like every single person out in the street, all the local people, they yeah. would be walking with their bags or purse or whatever they are carrying yeah. right on their chest completely protecting like this my goodness yeah and uh, so we are prepared for this way to travel no, it is no, so it's, scaring i mean it wasn't say. scary but we were more concerned like <laughs> oh, yeah, we are more alert right because we went there I mean, we yeah knew. because they are scared if at all it is snatched by the people around them, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So must be many people snatching it away. Yeah, so robbery, Anybody. robbery, 
loot and those kind of things um, are, are, pretty, are usual. Yeah, pretty usual over there, okay. right? But anything after dark is even worse. Right? My God, yeah, yeah. Naturally, yeah. naturally. So around the sunset hours, you know, from four to six, five to six. Uh, in the Till evening, night, that's eight, the time eight. when you see people really rushing towards their home Fast wherever they have to, yeah. yeah. Like they all want to get back into their uh, nest, no, no, yeah, no. or whatever it is, <laughs> uh, before, uh, before it's dark. Okay, and, so and, and friends, uh, from Hardik Pandya's talk, I would like to advise mm -hmm. whenever no, you are visiting mm -hmm. Madagascar, be conscious about your precious properties, valuable properties because you might not be knowing what is the atmosphere, what is the criminal atmosphere over there which uh -huh. Mr. Hardik Pandya has disclosed us and made us aware about. Yeah, but I still, I was still continuing my experience because my experience is, <laughs> still is further is more done. than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm still not done yet oh, because please. because uh, so many people can really get inspired from this experience, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so if I can continue this experience, yeah, please. Uh, so we were really concerned about all mm -hmm. these uh, sensitivities over there, right? Yeah. Now what happened? Mm -hmm. Before getting there, we booked we booked our hotel for three days. Okay. But then I also had to work with my international driver's license and everything because we were making a road trip across Madagascar for three months. So mm -hmm. unexpectedly, we had to extend our stay in the capital. Okay. And the hotel that we booked, uh, it didn't have any room for next two months, you know. So it, it, it is always full. Okay. So we had to change our hotel. We changed our hotel. Mm -hmm. So we checked into one uh, one hotel after that. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as we checked in the room, okay. like five minutes later, we realized that there was no Wi-Fi connection. Like the Wi-Fi signal was okay. really weak. Okay. Right. So we called up reception and we asked them to get us a room with the Wi-Fi frequency. Yes. Right? Uh, so a few minutes later, we moved to another room. Now what happened over there in those first three days? Yeah. I completely got rid of my habit of keeping wallet with me. So I was always keeping my wallet in the room and mm -hmm. I would carry just bare uh, money okay. in, in the hidden pockets, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, few days after, one morning, somebody knocked on my door. Okay. Right? When I opened the door, what I saw was a housekeeping girl mm -hmm. standing right there with my purse, with my wallet. How come? Yeah, and I, I'm still getting goosebumps, yeah. right? Because I was in, in a place where even local people can get robbed my in the God. daytime. Oui. And I was like, what is this? What, what is she doing with my wallet, you know? Yeah. And she was standing there with a smile, right? Yes. So when I, when I got this wallet in my hand, everything inside was completely shuffled, right? Yeah, like she must have searched whatever valuable things inside. Nope, that's, no? where, that's, where, that's where the experience is. Yeah, yeah, please tell Everything us. Everything was completely shuffled inside, but nothing was missing. Oh, so, very good. Yeah, very good. so what happened, yeah. they probably wanted to find out who does this wallet belong to, and that's why they probably okay. went there. Okay. I even okay. had a tiny little piece of silver that, uh -huh. that was there in my wallet. Okay. Even that was not missing. My debit cards, my credit cards, my Indian currency. So good people are also exactly. there. Exactly. And like everywhere. Everywhere. Like there are good yes. people and bad people everywhere. But I think I personally believe that if you carry good energy within yourself, I think you're always going to cross your path only with good people. Okay, now another question. Uh -huh. During your traveling, mm -hmm. you must have met few photographers mm -hmm. who are the best ones. Right. So let us know about them. What is mm -hmm. your experience? Mm -hmm. Whether they found you the best, something in mm -hmm. you the best, right. or what you found best in them. Okay. So please, our viewers mm -hmm. would like to know about Yeah, them. sure. Uh, so I think every photographer is unique because everyone okay. has its own style, everyone mm -hmm. has its own art. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been working mm -hmm. in the field of photography, travel documentary photography since 2007. Yeah. And it's been really an amazing experience to work with 
photographers from all the different uh, uh, parts Part of, the, of world. the world. Yeah, so so far I've been uh, really privileged to work with photographers from National Geographic Australia, National Geographic Israel, okay. uh, photographer from Fashion TV. Mm -hmm. A couple of projects that I did with mm -hmm. one of my best buddy. He is the guy who I actually uh, began this journey yeah. journey with, right? Uh, his name is Mitchell Kanashkevich. He is from? He is from Australia. Right. Yeah, and he is at the moment Panasonic Europe brand ambassador. Wow. Yeah, and <laughs> and the, the interesting thing is, mm -hmm. we we became friends even before he was actually a serious photographer. And where you became friends? In which country you became friends? Well, we became in friends. Australia or <laughs> India? <laughs> well, we became friends to be very precise yeah. in my own hometown. Junagadh. In Junagadh, yes. Wow. <laughs> so yes. cute it is. Ex exactly. <laughs> now here is a little story. If I can share my experience here, right? In the next episode. In the next episode? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Experience in the next episode. Okay. Yeah. Uh, only about photographers, you say. All right. No, but if I was talking about my journey, how I you asking me how I met him, right? Yeah. At that time, I was practicing English. Oh. Right. Yeah. So, in my hometown, mm -hmm. it was very difficult to find someone who you can practice English with, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was so desperate to learn English, and, well... My question was, yeah. photographers, uh -huh. how unique they were, uh -huh. wherever you met them, yeah. and what uniqueness you found in them, mm -hmm. and what they found in you. Uh -huh. That I is think, my question. I think they all, <laughs> they all found a, a, a nice, compatible travel companion, okay. who, who they can team up and uh, make a uh, photography yeah. Uh, that's what I really love. I love there was something new for you to learn from them? Absolutely. There is always something to learn from every single person okay. that you work with, right? Okay. Now, yeah. viewers. Yeah. Mr. Hardik Pandya is from mm -hmm. Junagadh. Mm -hmm. But most important thing to know about him is that mm -hmm. he has studied up to SSC through yeah, yeah. Gujarati medium mm -hmm. and from Gujarati medium after three lectures on his subject mm -hmm. he felt that he must learn English and he started creating full atmosphere around him to go and to reach up to the best level of English. So little bit, how you could reach up to this level of English? <laughs> All right, so yeah, you already uh, you gave a little flashback because uh, after passing my high school, right, okay. my father put me in a diploma course, right? So we, we, went, uh, we went to this uh, <laughs> college, we paid the fees and everything, and just when we were paying fees, the, uh, the officer in the office, he already asked my dad that uh, he could send me already in the class because the class has already been going on for the past 15 days. Okay. I was one of the last uh, admissions in the college. Mm -hmm. So when I first entered the class, there were students writing things down, uh, following the professor, whoever, uh, I mean, whatever he was uh, speaking, speaking in English. Right? So I borrowed a pin page, I mean a page yeah. from a friend. I borrowed a pen because I was completely not prepared. Yeah. And I also started following uh, the professor. Whatever he was speaking, mm -hmm. we only had to mm -hmm. keep writing, right? Mm -hmm. So one lecture goes, I thought, okay, that was probably the uh, English Difficult subject. Difficult for me. No, I mean, that was probably the English, English subject, subject, right? <laughs> Second lecture starts. And that is also English subject. <laughs> yeah, so I thought maybe this is English part two. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so then the third subject begins, <laughs> and the third lecture begins. Okay. And that sounded like statistics yeah and the professor was still speaking in uh, English right yeah and I was like why is he speaking in English and yes. then I asked my uh, uh, yeah English. my classmate yeah I asked him uh, man is this English medium and he was like yeah you don't know about that <laughs> well I had that... to spend I had to spend three years for a few onwards. moments you must be blank how to reach to this level of English yeah and understand all the subjects. Exactly. I mean, understanding was still not a problem. Like, yeah, I can still yeah. understand, right? 
but to cop up up to the level of speaking Everything. and converse with the staff yeah. or colleagues and all that yeah. it was very difficult yeah yeah absolutely so friends mm -hmm. for your information mm -hmm. i would like to say that mm -hmm. me too have studied through gujarati medium and in ssc i was not knowing english i had dropped out english maths and physics chemistry during ssc i was knowing only five words is am are this that and from this five words i reached to this level of english so unless and until you try you will never reach to your goal and if you try the goal is never far from you but never wait for the goal to reach only go on trying yep. so i would like to say that whenever you have such a best experience such a best story with you please contact belzo tv belzo tv you can watch just go to google play store or google and find write down b e l z o dot tv and such a beautiful videos you will be able to see on it okay